Hi, Juju Bees. Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Today is Sunday. Sunday fun day. Um, so if you are new here, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It would do my heart proud. Um, share, 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 share. So today on the menu, I have some cheese ravioli with broccoli, shrimp, and sausage. I'm going to dive right in because I don't want it to get cold. And I also have to drink cran watermelon. I like all those cran, watermelon, cran, strawberry, cran, grape. Mm -hmm. This is good, y'all. So, we're still on ethic two. And like I told you guys, Ethic 2 is heavy. And we, we kind of got over one of the heavy parts. Um, so, what I think, I hate this hair, y'all. But, so, we left off last with Messiah breaking up with Morgan. And Paula thing. I feel like she had worked so hard to get him to notice her and, you know, allow him to be with her. All for them to break up. So, he let her live for, we're just going to say she goes to school. Back to school. They moved her into a new apartment. Because everything happened in her, her old apartment. So after they had her moved over to a new apartment, excuse me, and moved all her belongings to her new apartment. So she went back up school, back to school. I'm going to say that after the weekend, or maybe after a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, after like the weekend, Nish funeral came, and she didn't go. She was like, she decided not to attend because it was just a lot for her, I'm assuming. So, she went back to school, and she decided... To go to the stiletto gang audition. So. She went on there. And. You know. Went to the auditions. And picked up the little routine. And they kind of recorded her. On there. And put her on her. On the YouTube. And then like her Instagram. Or Facebook. And. So she just been trying to. Live her life. The best way she can. Without constantly being concerned about Messiah and what he got going on or what he doing. So, she's just been keeping busy. Like I said, she auditioned for the Stiletto game. She did that. Trying to keep her head wrapped around her studies. And just kind of trying to, I guess, get a feel for the college life. So, she the day she was auditioning for the Stiletto game... Aria was recording it. And she got like 50,000 views. Hundred thousand likes. And it just was constantly going up. And she was like, wow. You know, I didn't even think it was that serious. Aria was like, you're a big deal, sis. Like, you know, you didn't think you could be, but you really are a big deal. So that kind of made her you know, excited and proud because Morgan is kind of like a person who's lived in a bubble for real. She's been there for her whole life. You know, she really, the only friend, childhood friend she had was Nish and then we see how that turned out. And so, she hasn't really stepped out of the box. She kind of just been living in the shadow of her sister for her life. So, to go to college and make a friend and, you know, step out on something and then, you know, people acknowledge you and they like what you're doing, that's kind of exciting for her. So, 
while she's dancing on the other side of the town, Messiah's trying to do the same thing as Morgan, keep his mind occupied, not really focus on Morgan. He feel like if I focus on her, I'm going to lose focus in the business and the streets that I got going on. So for seven straight days, the book says, like he just been up and down the highways, hustling and bustling, trying to live his mind clear. And so they just so happen to be him, Issa and Amiki, so happy, so happy to be um, in their little house counting up money. And you should tell him, like, you've been hitting the ground running ever since you and you and little Miss Missy ain't been together. He's like, you need to mind your business. We have him discuss that. And I don't back like I don't know what she been doing, and I don't want to know, you know. And so, um, Amik was like, "Well," and then he was like, "Man, what you doing?" Amik was had walked in, but he was like preoccupied on his phone. And so Masai was like, "What you doing, man? Like you, you gonna help us count this money up, or you gonna be too busy floating in in, in uh, on your phone?" And Issa was like, "You ain't know that with the Facebook king, like he stay on Facebook. He think he a local celebrity when it comes to the Facebook." He was like, well, Messiah didn't think it was important to have Facebook because he felt like why get people, he was too busy trying to stay off the radar, let alone, you know, putting his whole life on there. And then Amik was like, well, if you was on Facebook, you will see what your girl was doing. And so he showed him a video of the of Morgan, the video that everybody else in the world didn't see. So he like, you know, scrolled through the thing and he's smiling because he's proud of her for real. Like, you know, stepping out and doing something different, but at the same time, like the peach symbols, emojis and the kissy faces and the drooling faces. He like, nah, let me get up off here because this, this ain't for me. So, he asked me, like, why are you following her anyway? Like, you need to do unfollow, hit the unfollow button. You don't need to be following her. <laughs> so, she announced on there basically that she was going to be at um, a club on college campus that weekend. It was her first show. And so, um, so she put on there it was going to be her first show. So, when she's at school, remember I told her she met the guy Bash. So, they see each other at the dining hall. And he comes to her. And he started talking to her. And it was like, you know, hey, what's up? What's new? She's like studying. And he like, oh, I didn't think pretty girls like you study. She was like, why not? Like, and she was like, I noticed that you say I'm pretty a lot. Like, is there anything else that you notice other than me being pretty? She was like, because I mean, I've heard that all my life. Like, is there anything else that you see when you look at me? And he was like, yeah, I see a, some insecurities. And she was, he was like, I can see that you're insecure. And that something has changed in you, you know, just in the past couple of weeks or whatever. And of course, like I said, her and Messiah has broke up. So she didn't think like that he was going to say that. And he was like, and I just noticed kind of like that your smile is a little dimmer. And she like, oh. And she just was like, she was sorry for being rude, you know, if that was the case. And he was, she was like, but, you know, I'm just kind of, you know, in and out of something that I don't even really know if I'm in and out of it for real. And he was like, so do you want to do, that's when he asked her, do you want to do lunch or breakfast or something? And she was like, I really don't know. Like, I kind of don't want to string you along. But then she remembers her mom telling her, well, she didn't tell her, but she told Raven, like, you know, you married a guy who is safe. You don't marry the guy who gives you butterflies. Like, Masai gives her butterflies, but Bash, he would be a safe choice, even though they're far from any type of, um, relationship like that but she said he's handsome but he's just boring like he just he don't come with any oomph you know so she was like I don't know I guess we'll see so he's about to leave and she called his name and she's like well I gotta um I'm dancing with the stiletto gang on Saturday he's like oh you gang and she's like yeah and she's like well my first show is on Saturday if you want to come.
come back there, you could see me in the show. And he's like, okay. So, he's like, any time that I can get with you, I'm here for. He was like, any time that I can get with you will be, um, I'll take it. And so, she gives him her number. And she going, she thinking like, oh my God, like, should I even be giving out my number? Like, me and Messiah just broke up. Like, should I even be doing this? But she gave it to him anyway. So she go to the thing on Saturday and she's like nervous and, you know, she's, but she's excited at the same time. So, um, and, and walks Messiah, Issa, and Amik. Okay. And they like, you know, shop and my mama say shop as a tack, you know, they done got they uh Gucci loafers on, you know, they they came in there on some grown man stuff in the college town, not like the little boys with the white tees and the Jordans or the white tees in the Air Force One. They didn't came in there clean cut. You know, he got his braids, I mean he got his locks braided to the back, you know, French braided looking like steak. So, you know, they come in, he get a booth or whatever, but he walk in and he noticed her like, you know. On the side of the little thing, talking to some tall, light-skinned dude. And not only is she talking to him, but she's smiling and kiki. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Nah, he don't want to see all that. Like, you, 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 what you doing over there? You know, who is this guy you showing all your 32 pearly whites to? Because I need to know. Like, it's only been seven days, and then here you is up here. You don't even miss me or nothing. You over here in the corner with college boy, acting all friendly. You know, so he, everybody like, just cool. You know, she at college, be cool. He like, I'm good, man. You know, you try to play it cool. But in the inside, he is on fire. Like somebody done flipped the switch on my man. So he get a booth. He tell the um, bartender girl, you know, like, give me some, run me some, you know, bottles or whatever on here. And he tell her what kind of bottles he wanted. He tell her, like, and then whatever kind of bottles they drink. So he pour up or whatever, you know, he's swigging around his little drink. You know, but he felt like if it's important to Morgan, this is her first show, her stepping out. If it's important to her, it's important to him. So he said, I'm showing up for her. He wanted her to know, like, whether or not we're going to be together or we are together or whatever, I'm still going to be here for you because I'm rooting for you for real life. So he watching her, you know, she dancing and he proud of her for real. You know, she lighting up the scene, everybody going crazy. You know, they screaming and hollering. She, you know, backing that thing up, dropping like it's hot, you know, doing her little eight count. She getting it in. So the frat boys come in and they join it into that routine. And so it's Morgan has like a partner, you know, so now they kind of like, you know, a little close and a little sensual and he don't like how to, he like, yeah, so we up, like, come on, we got to go. She may not be with me no more, but we, we going to have, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and watch it. So we going to go ahead and we going to go. It's been real. You know what I'm saying? I love you, but I'm going to go ahead. And he told his boys like, we up, we got to go. So as he leaves, of course, the distraction or the movement or whatever from him moving. She notices him. So she don't even finish her routine. She hop off the stage. And she runs out to him like Messiah. Like Messiah. He like, what's up, shorty? Like, And she like, what are you doing here? Like, I didn't even know you was here. He was like, you know, I just came to see what was good. Like, you did good or whatever. And um, she was like, so what's going on? Like, I haven't heard from you in days. Like, you know, he was like, um, I haven't heard from you in days. And she was like, well... He was like, well, you know, you've been a little busy, so it seems, you know. And she like, are you talking about the guys on the stage? Like, they just, um, they like to join our routine. Like, it's nothing personal. It ain't even like that with him or whatever. Then she gonna say, and I don't know why she said this, little Morgan. Gonna tell that man he liked the way I ride the beat. <laughs> and so, he like, he liked the way you ride the beat. And she like, yeah. He like, yeah. Uh -uh. He's like, she's like, well, what does that mean? He's like, I'll get up with you later. Shorty, she's like, what do that mean? He's like, it means let me get up out of here before I have to put somebody in the dirt. That's what it means. And she just like, okay. So in the middle of her having a conversation with him, out comes Bash. Talking about, hey, yo, Morgan, like, boy, who told you to come out here? Who told you to come out here looking, checking for me? I'm checking for my man. I ain't checking for you. Go on back in there and light skin. We don't do that. I was disturbed with Bash. Like, get, get on somewhere. So anyway... Um, he like, yeah, uh, I, I'll get up with you later, shorty. And then she walking away, he like, yeah, don't ride that beat too hard. <laughs> so she go back in, you know, she finished a couple dances or whatever. So now he, um, he finished a couple dances. So he get in the car, he leave with his friends, but then he kind of make a use turn. Like, I'm about to just go on back and get my girl. But when he come back, he noticed that Morgan is standing outside the door of the club and she kissing, she's kissing Bash with his, Interfering self. She kissing Bash. 
And so he like, ah, oh, what? You know what I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. He don't say nothing because, you know, Masai, he try to keep it cool. He got a poker face like a mug. So he just keep going. So she, if she be like, uh-uh, Bash, like, this ain't what we're trying to do. Like I told you before, like, I'm kind of in and out of something that I don't even really know what I'm in or out of. And this is just not a good idea. He like, I'm sorry I was being too pushy. She was like, I mean, I just don't want to. I, I want to end something before I start something else. So. And he say, okay, he respect that. So she go back in and she get to dancing with. She about to try to start dancing with Ari. And all of a sudden, she like had this freak out. She's running in the bathroom and locked the door. Ari like, what's going on? What's going on? So she called Messiah, leaves him a message like, Messiah, please come. Please come. I need your help. He's here. And mind you, he all the way on the other side of town with another bride. Because he's trying to figure out how to get himself over what he's feeling. He even tried to do the same thing with the girl. Like, you know, hang out with her after they was intimate. It didn't work. It didn't give him the same feels as Morgan gave him. So when he get the message, his phone vibrate, he ignore it. It come again. He get the message and it's her. And he instantly panicked with her. Like, what's going on? So she's like, he's here, Messiah, I need you. So why are you asking her, like, well, what's going on? What's happening? Why are you so scared? She's like, I can't go out there. It's somebody from my hometown, and I can't go out there because that's the one that one of the ones that violated me. Now, this is like Lucas's friend. They don't have a name. He don't have a name, but it's just Lucas's friend. He's like the second offender, so to speak. So Morgan, I mean, Oreo's like, he did what? Like, uh-uh, girl, we ain't about to be having in here. Like, I'm finna go check him because we don't do that. So she go outside. So she tell her, like, well, we can just leave, but we can go out the back way. We don't have to go out the front. So as they coming out the back way, the guy like, Morgan, can I just talk to you for a minute? Like, I just need to talk to you for a minute. And Oreo turns around like, no, I hear your raggedy self like to do inappropriate things to people. So, no, we don't have to stop and talk to you. Like, she I don't want, Okay. Aria's like the whatever you want, however you want to do it, best friend. Like, wherever you want to go, friend, however you want to do it, friend, I'm game, okay? I got your back 100 grand. That's Aria. She riding her dime, period. So, when they get to the car, Morgan just like kind of freaking out. She's trying to hurry up and get in the car. And then he show her, uh, you know, lift up his, his um, shirt and show her his piece. And he like, she like, oh, so what you about to do? Like, try to get rid of me in broad daylight? I mean, in the in the, busy, in the middle of the um, nightclub? She was like, it's cameras and everything. She, he was like, I just want to talk. She like, ain't going to be no talking. This Ari at the time. Because Morgan is for real freaking out. So as Morgan gets in her car uh, to try to get in her car and get away, Messiah pulls up and blocks her in. Now, before he could even ask any questions or figure out anything he done got out the car and went to town on the dude when i say went to town i'm talking about blow after blow after blow after blow after blow after blow after blow until there is no more second offender okay second offender has been eliminated <laughs> with his bare hands okay and so, of course, if somebody finds out, they're going to put him under the jail, okay? He ain't going to be just like, you know, slap on the wrist. Nah, they they going to take him up under the jail. So he tells Morgan, like, just go home and wait for me. I'll be there. And this old girl, cool, and she like, yeah, she's fine. And she told him, like, you know, there are cameras. And he like, okay, don't worry about it. So she go home. Now she's, like, freaking out because she's like, oh, my gosh, what did he do? What's going to happen? When is he going to come back? What if somebody find out? What if he don't get... It, it's just as whole. So as the night goes on, it's, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, she hear a nice little, you know, a little quiet little knock at the door. And so he come in, and she like, I was so worried. Like, is everything okay? I love you so much. And he like, it's cool. Like, you know... Everything is taken care of. Is is old girl cool? Like, is she going to be okay? He like, she like, yeah, she cool. He like, okay. And he basically was trying to tell her, like, you know, she was trying to tell him, like, I don't like the way that things have are, how they ended between us or whatever. And he like, you know, it's cool. Don't worry about it. So, um, I think she might have tried to give him a hug or something or kiss. And he didn't. And then she kind of, you know, got sad, but he came back and kissed her anyway. And then he left and basically was like, you know, I holler at you when I holler at you. So, um, 
So after that, they didn't talk to each other for a while either. Like, you know, she went on about her thing and he went on about his. Like, there was no communication. She didn't call him. He didn't call her. She, of course, was hurt, but she felt like, well, if you can be wherever you are and miss me, I can be where I'm at and miss you. But I ain't calling you if you ain't calling me. So let's just say a couple months went by, and by this time, it's like Thanksgiving, I think. And in Flint, Michigan, um, I guess they have like this uh, block party-ish type of thing. And so um, her, or, her and Aria wind up coming back home from school and going there. She didn't call him and tell him she was coming. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. She didn't call and tell him she was coming. She just kind of showed up, okay? So... He was about to get ready to go until she pulled up on the scene. And when she pulled up on the scene, you know, he didn't quite see her. So, Mickey, like, eyes up. You know, I'm like, come on, be aware, be aware. Be aware of your surroundings because old girl done came in. So, when she came up, it was another girl, her friends on the car or whatever. So, he done told Shorty, like, yeah, you can get you can get lost. And she like, what about that thing I said I was going to do? He was like, yeah, another time. Try another cat because it ain't me. So, he was leaving. But when Morgan pulled up, he like, ah plans over i'm gonna go ahead and be here because my my little boo thing here even though she mad at me and we ain't together but that's still me so her and Arya go get some skates and they skating on the ice so, you know morgan she good with the skates she got everything going so he go down there you know he watch her hand really saying nothing, but you know he keep it in the cut so she starts singing to him and it's the um the best part by um mm, her and Daniel Caesar. So it's that you don't know, babe. It's that song. So um they she sang it to him on a skate or whatever. And Messiah's really not a big fan of public displays of affection, but because it's her and because she just do something to him, you know, he give her a little smirk, not a full smile, not that you know, try to mess up his gangster or whatever. So she's skating backwards and she sing it to him, you know. Singing the chorus to him, and he giving her a little look, like, oh my gosh, she know I don't like this, but deep down inside, she know I like it, that's why she doing it. And in the middle of her skating, some girl was like, he has the cutest birthmark on his thigh. Uh-uh, sis, because who, cause who was talking to you? Who was talking to you, sis? And she was like, Donnie. And so Morgan instantly gets her attitude, and then Aria, I mean, and so... The girl said something else crazy, and Aria was like, I wish I would. So, next thing you know, they not swing it on each other. Like, Morgan and Aria both on skates. Now, they rustling and tussling on the ground, and then one of the other girls who was with the girl who said something about the birthmark went over there to try to get Morgan in before she could get a chance to do anything. Messiah done choked her up and slung her across the ice. Like, eh, these ain't the type of problems that you want. And so, the girl was like, it's really like that, Messiah? And Morgan was like, it's just like that. Like, we're not even finna try to like get this thing going. So, um, her and Morgan get discovered on the ice. So now she's mad at him and she's mad at the situation. Like now you got me out here and you about to embarrass me and I don't even know what's going on. Of course the girl done been with you because she knows stuff that's intimate about you that only I should know. But I think that she kind of was too salty because it's it's been women before you, but at the same time, Morgan Young, is she innocent or whatever? So she like, I'm leaving. She put her take trying to take try to take her skates off and her and Aria about to get up out of there. So I'ma stop right here because I'm 24 minutes in and I don't want to go too long. But don't uh come back tomorrow and I will be finishing. I'ma try to finish up ethic two. Like I said, it's a lot of ethic two that I don't really want to get. And I'm trying to do it couples at a time and not like flashback from couple to couple. So you guys let me know if that's better. Um but like I said if you're new here don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a new video thank you guys so much and until next time bye my jujubes